Hey everybody, it's Stephanie from Whole Life NYC. And today I wanted to talk to you about how to use your essential oils. So there are three ways you can use doTERRA essential oils. Aromatically, which means in the air, like an aroma. Topically, on your skin. And internally, uh, which I would only recommend if you are working with the person who introduced you to oils, or me. Um, somebody who is a certified aromatherapist. So let's talk about aromatically. You can see I have my diffuser running. A diffuser just um, creates like a mist in the air. It's not like a humidifier, um, but it does get the um, essential oils up into the air so you can get the therapeutic benefits that way. Another way that I love to do during the day, if I need a little pick-me-up or at the end of the day if I'm you know, tired and I, my mind is racing and I need to, to calm myself down, um, I'll use different oils in this way. Uh, you take the essential oil and all of the doTERRA oils come with um, this little top that lets out one drop at a time. So you don't shake it, you don't tap it, you don't put it on your hand and flip it upside down, you just let the oil come out on your hand. So there's one drop. And then what I like to do with peppermint is I like to rub it between the, my palms and then bring it slowly to my face and inhale through my nose. This, this is great. This is a great way to get the oils um, into your system. Um, another way to do it is to breathe in through your mouth like you're sipping through a straw like this. And that gets it deep into your lungs. It's so good. Um, so that's one way to, to use your oils. Um, also, are there any other aromatic things I've forgotten? Not that I can think of. I mean, there are other things you can do, like put some essential oil on a cotton ball and put it in an air vent, your vacuum cleaner. You know, we like to put some lemon oil on our vacuum cleaner in a little cotton ball in a vacuum cleaner bag, and then it kind of keeps everything smelling delicious. Um, you can do it before you go on a plane, um, use your on guard. You're gonna do the same thing that I just did. You rub it on your hands and you inhale, so you're getting it into your system. It boosts your immunity and it will protect you from germs. Okay, the second way is topically. So when you're using essential oils topically, there are a couple of um, things you need to know. Citrus oils, if you are applying them to your skin, you should not go out into the sun for at least 12 hours after you've applied them to your skin. Citrus oils like lemon, wild orange, bergamot, tangerine, those all make your skin more sensitive to the sun. Photosensitive is the word. And you can get a really bad sunburn um, that you'll have to go to the emergency room for. So you do not want to apply the citrus oils if you're going to go into the sun. In the winter months, it's okay. Your arms are covered with sleeves. You should be fine. If you want to use citrus oils in the summer, I recommend you put them on the bottoms of your feet. So what you do to, to apply oil topically, you can use fractionated coconut oil because I always recommend diluting your oils um, when you're using them on small children or elderly people with thinner skin than you, um, anybody who could have skin sensitivity, um, that's what I would do. So I also like to put it in my body cream. So I'll just take a little bit in the morning and I will take my oil and put a drop in. I'm using peppermint because it's really cooling for your skin. So you just mix it together and then you can just rub it all over your skin. So you'll get the therapeutic benefits of the oil. Um, in this case, peppermint is an analgesic, which means it's kind of anti-inflammatory and it cools down your skin um, and it smells really great. So you can use it that way. You can also, um, Put a drop in with your coconut oil. So I'm going to do, let's say I'm putting some breathe on my son who has asthma. So I will put a little bit of coconut oil, just a drop or two on my, my palm. Again, I will take the oil, let it drop out on its own, rub together, and then you can apply it, you know, to his chest, his throat. Um, I like doing this with On Guard also, if I'm going to go on a trip, in an airplane, um, on the subway, whenever I, whenever I need a little immune, immune boost. So those are ways you can use the essential oils topically. And then the third way is internally, and I know a lot of people recommend just put a drop in your water and drink it down, but 
oil and water don't mix, so you're gonna have that water, that oil just sitting on the top of the water, and you're gonna get a whole mouthful of essential oil. So what I recommend is using a veggie cap, doTERRA sells veggie caps. Um, it's just a clear um, gelatin, or not, it's not gelatin, it's a vegetarian, um, vegetarian capsule, so it's veggie friendly. Um, and you just open it up and you will put a drop, let's say you want to kind of cleanse your system, so I've got my lemon and I'm going to just put a drop in my capsule and you can kind of see it right there. You put, where did the lid go? There it is. <laughs> you put the top on, you just snap it closed. And then you can literally just take it with some water. And there you go. So you'll get the internal benefits of taking an oil. So why do we have three different ways to, to use the oil? So you get most of the absorption of the oil if you take it internally. But remember, not all doTERRA oils are for internal use. Only do it with supplement facts. Um, so you get about, I think, 10% absorption if you're using it, if you're taking it internally. Um, topically, or aromatically is the next best way, and then topically is the, um, is, is the third best way to use essential oils. So you have different options depending on what you want, what, what part of your body you want to target. Um, that's when you would decide how you're going to use the oils. So that was my little tutorial about using oils. Please um, write in the comments if you have any questions. I'm happy to help. Okay, thanks. Have a great day.